While most brands are making elaborate commercials to air during the big game, Skittles is going with a different approach. Instead of an ad, a Broadway show. Skittles. Skittles. Skittles, Skittles. Skittles. Skittles the musical. This might have been a bad idea. Yep, we skipped the Super Bowl and instead made a Broadway musical all about how horrible and manipulative advertising is. Then we charged people $200 to watch it. You have to buy a ticket to see an ad. Yeah, it's a real Broadway show. Bad marketing idea. Maybe, but the story blew up and the show sold out in two days. Then we dropped the cast album on Spotify and a music video which didn't exactly celebrate the biggest marketing day of the year. And that blew up too. On Super Bowl Sunday, fans flocked to 43rd and Broadway, where they discovered shirts and posters and vinyl records. Bootleg shirts sold outside made an appearance in the show, as did fake ads in the custom playbook. It makes me spend money I don't even have, buying hundreds of shoes I don't need. These 1,500 people would witness an ad which took months to plan and rehearse, and would never be shown on TV or the web. Trust a faceless multinational corporation again. This might have been a big mistake. You'd think so, but the campaign was named funniest Super Bowl commercial of 2019, despite not being on the Super Bowl at all. The most inventive run in the history of ambush advertising. Renders every other ad actually playing during the Super Bowl pointless. The future of Super Bowl ads doesn't include TV or football. Yeah, exactly because Skittles the Musical became the most talked about ad of the entire game without spending a penny on the Super Bowl. Broadway the Rainbow, Taste the Rainbow.